Hello everyone, this is William here and welcome back to the Will Trains videos and I'm going to play Minecraft again. Today we're going to build is a Norfolk and Western Class J 611 and this is a base off is a Class J 44 Northern type steam locomotive was built and operated by the Norfolk and Western Railway from 1950 to 1959 and this is what the Norfolk and Western Class J 611 will looks like. It has been quested by for my videos. I already did the reviewing video of the original Norfolk and Western Class J 611 back in November 18th, 2017. If you look side by side comparison on the bottom corner, you can see it's way too chubbier and not very detailed at all. Well, as a new version I made, I made this train very much better. I put some lot of details everywhere, including the Norfolk and Western name on the cross to tender on both sides. And on top, we got some safety bells here and we got the whistle here. It looks so much better the older version. And also, I made some passenger cars with this train, but that will be the next video after this. All right, that's about it. Let's start building. So first, we're going to start making some wheels using black concrete. Put one right here, skip two, put one right here, skip one, and then put two out of two, stack each other. Skip once, put two out of two, stack each other. Skip once, put two out of two, stack each other. Skip one, and then put two out of two, stack each other. And then skip two, put one right here, skip one, and then put one right here. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use is another brick slam to put above of the wheels. And then stop right here. Next, we're going to use is stone bricks. And then stop right here. Next, we're going to use is black concrete, it will be the cow catcher, and delete one on the middle, and then we're going to use is another brick stairs to make a little curve, and then we're going to use is stone bricks, we're going to put one right here, and then put one right here, on both sides, you're going to put is another brick stairs, and put one facing this way like that and then put one facing this way like that and then we're going to use is black concrete it will be some pistons put two here and then put one right here and do the same thing next we're going to use is stone bricks we're going to start right here and fill all the way across right here On the front, you're going to put is black concrete, put one right here, and then we're going to use is another brick stairs, put two here, and then put two here, and then we're going to use is red terracotta, will be the stripe, and do the same thing on the other side. On both sides on the back, we're going to use is black concrete. So you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, and do the other side. And then on the bottom, you're going to skip one and put one, two here. And do the same thing, one, two. And then we're going to use is another brick slam. 
So you're to put one, two. And the other side, put one, two. And over here, you're going to put is another brick stairs. Put two facing this way, like that. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use is another brick slam. So we're going to start right here, and you're going to skip one, two, and put one right here. Skip two, and put one right here. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use is another brick stairs. Put two facing this way, like that. And the other side, put two facing this way, like that. We're still continuing because we need to put the nether brick stairs between of the driving wheels. Put one facing this way, like that. Put one facing this way, like that. And then put one facing this way, like that. And do the same thing on the other side. On front and back, we're going to use is block of redstone and a piston. So put a block of redstone in here and then put a piston in here. That will be the coupling rod. And on the back, put a block of redstone in here and then put a piston in here. That will be connecting of the tender. On both sides on the front, we're going to put is another brick stairs. Put one right here and then put one right here. And next we're going to make a boiler using black concrete. So you're going to put one, two, three. And then put one on the side here. And then put one on the side here. And on the middle, you're going to put is the sea lantern. Will be the headlight. Like that. And then we're going to use is another brick stairs to make a little curve. Put one facing this way like that. And then put one facing this way like this. And both sides on the front of the boiler, you're going to put two facing this way like that and the other side put one facing this way like this and then put one facing this way like that and then we're going to use is black concrete we're going to start right here and put one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and do the other side and then you're going to skip one and fill all the way across right here. And then on both sides, we're going to start right here and put one, two, three, four. Skip two. And you put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip one. And then put one, two, three. And do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to put is another brick block. And then we're going to use is black concrete. On top of the boiler, we're going to put is another brick stairs to make a little curve. And then we're going to stop right here. And then put one facing this way, like that. And do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to use is black concrete. Put one right here. Skip one. Put one, two, three. Skip one. Put one, two, three. Skip two. Put one, two. Skip one. And then put one, two. We're still continuing because we need to make a cab. So you're going to put one, two, skip one, and then put one here. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to use is another brick stairs to make a little curve. And on both sides on the back. You're going to put one facing this way, like that, and then put one facing this way, like that. Next, we're going to use is quartz stairs and quartz slam will be some side rods. So put the quartz stairs here, and then we're going to use this quartz slam and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And do the same thing on the other side.
On the back, what we're going to put is another brick fence. Put one right here, and then put one right here. We're still continuing because we need to put two here. And the other side, put two here. And next, we're going to use is another brick wall. We're going to start right here, and you're going to skip one, two, and then put one right here, and do the same thing on the other side. And then skip one, two, and put one right here. And next, we're going to use is this end rod. Will be some handrails. And then put one like this, and then put one like that, and delete that. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then put two here. And the other side, put two here. And then on the front, put one right here. And then put two here. And delete that. And then put one right here. Put one right here. And delete that. Next, what we're going to use is black carpet to cover it. Next, what we're going to use is dark arch button. We're going to put one, two, three, four. And do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. And then put one right here. That will be the builder's plate. And then put two here. And then put three here. And do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to use a stone button. Put one right here. And then put one right here. And do the same thing on the other side. And then on top. We're going to put this dark arch button here, and then put two here, and then we're going to use this stone button, put one right here, and then we're going to use this black carpet, put two here, and then put two here. And then we're going to use this arc fence, will be the whistle, and then we're going to use this stone button to connect the wheels. On top, we're going to put is another brick fence. Put one right here. And then over here, we're going to put is dark arch trapdoor. Put one right here. And then we're going to use this arc fence gate. Will be the safety bells. And then we're going to use is stone brick wall. Put one right here. And then on both sides here, we're going to put yeah. is skeleton skull. Put two here. These will be the lights. And then on the back, we're going to put is this ladder. And then we're going to use is black stained glass. Will be the driver's cab windows. All right, now we're going to make some details inside the cab. So first, we're going to use glowstone, arch trapdoor, item frame, compass, lever, torch, and stone brick stairs. So first we're going to put is glowstone right here. And then we're going to use is arc trapdoor. And then we're going to use the item frame. And then we're going to use a compass in the item frame. And next you're going to put is this levers. And on the side as well. In the very back on both sides we're going to put is this torch will be some lights and then we're going to use is stone brick stairs will be some seats all right now we're made the detailed cab inside on the back we're going to put is stone brick stairs put one facing this way like this that will be the platform and then put two on both sides here and then we're going to use is stone button put two here all right, now we're done of the locomotive. Now let's do the tender.
So we're going to start making some wheels using black concrete. So we're going to put one right here, skip once, put one right here, skip once, put one right here. And then you're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, put one right here, skip once, put one right here, skip once, and then put one right here. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to use is another brick slam to put above of the wheels. And then we're going to use is stone bricks and stop right here. And then we're going to use is black concrete. Next, we're going to use is red terracotta, it will be the stripe. And then we're going to use is black concrete. Next, we're going to use is another brick stairs to make a little curve. And then on both sides, on the top, we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then put one facing this way like this. And do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then put one right here. And then we're going to use is black concrete. You're going to put one right here, put one right here, and then put one, two, three, and then put one, two, three, put one, two, three, and then put one, two. And then right behind it, we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and then fill it in. And then we're going to use is another brick stairs, put two here. And then on the middle, you're going to put is black concrete here. And then on both sides, we're going to put is another brick slam. Next, we're going to use is block of redstone and a piston. So put a block of redstone in here and then put a piston in here. That's will be connecting of the tender. And then on the back, put a block of redstone in here, and then put a piston in here. That will be the coupling rod. And then we're going to fill in using block of coal. And then you would put one, two, and then you would put one, two. And then put one, two, and then put one, two, and then put one here, and then put one, one right here. And then we're going to use is stone button to connect the wheels. And then on both sides on the bottom middle, you're going to put is another brick slam, put one right here. And put one right here. On the front of the tender, we're going to put is stone brick stairs. Put one right here, facing this way. That will be the platform. And then put two on both sides here. And then we're going to use is iron bars. And then we're going to put is stone button on both sides. And then on the middle, you're going to put is this lever. And then we're going to put is this stone button here. Okay, now we're going to add some details. 
So first, what we're going to use is stone button. Put one right here. Put one right here. Put one right here. And then put one right here. And then on the middle, you're going to use is this ladder. And then we're going to use is another brick fence. And then you're going to skip one. And we're going to use is iron door. So you're going to delete one, two, three. And then put one, two, three. And then skip once. And you're going to put is dark arch buttons. Put one, two, three. And then we're going to use is stone button one right here and then put one right here and then over here we're going to put is dark arch button put one right here and the other side put one right here and next we're going to use is branch button will be the Norfolk and Western name on the cross to tender so we're going to start right here and skip one two and you're gonna put one two three four Skip once, put one, two, three. Skip once and put one, two, three, four. And then do the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna skip one, two, and put one, two, three, four. Skip once, put one, two, three. Skip once and put one, two, three, four. And on the back, we're gonna put is item frame. Put one right here. And then we're gonna put is the sea lantern in the item frame. That will be the backlight. All right, the final one we're going to put is these three signs. So first, we're going to use is dark arch sign. Put two of them on the front of the boiler, like that. And then on both sides on the front, we're gonna put is Keisha sign. It will be the part of the, the stripe. And then on the middle here, we're going to put is branch sign. We're going to start right here and skip one, two, three, four, five, and then put it right here. Its number is 611. You can put, or you could just leave a blank. And the last one on the back of the tender. All right, we're finished. And I think that's about it, how to build the Norfolk and Western Class J 611. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to give me a like and subscribe. And you hope you enjoyed the Wheel Trains videos and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.